This is Yang Trader. The pitch just closed here about five minutes ago here at 2.30. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. Now remember, the API report will be out today at 4.30. And watch that hurricane in the Gulf headed towards Florida. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels will be posted. This video is for information purpose only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy at the ETF. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil. Okay, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, if we look here, let me big this up a little bit. Okay, if we look here at crude, um, I've always been pointing out this candle right here. Okay, this is 77.33. It held it nicely. Okay, we had a low here of 77.62. Then we had a lower low at 77.59. But look at the nice green candle. It came down lower and then finished up really, really nice. Even though it was a lower low and a lower high, Still was a nice green candle. Then the following day, a uh, higher low and a higher high, and it closed above that key 8 SMA here. Now, where are we going? Well, if you look at this 8 day, see how nice this is curling up here? Okay, that is curling up really, really nice. So what we want to do is we want to watch this key 21 SMA. Okay, so basically you're sitting at 81.14. Uh, it needs to close above, not just intraday like this candle here, but it needs to close above. If it does... Top of this candle will be the target, okay? So that's 81.75. Uh, and then what we do um, is bigger us up, get a little better view, okay? Uh, then what we do is then we start looking to these candles here. So you want to look to the bottom of this candle. You got 82.23, bottom of this candle here. You got uh, 82.58, and then we have 82.67, okay? And then what we do is we come over here, we look at 82.91. That would be the top of the candle here. Then you have 83.20, then we have uh, 83.81, you have 84.65, and then your big retest up here is 84.99. Uh, um, here, now, on the downside here, what are we want to watch? Well, we want to watch all these candles. So now you want to watch the top of this candle here. Okay, you're sitting at 80.45, and then we want to watch this 8 SMA here. This is the key support at 79.91. Okay, it needs to hold that. If not, then we come there and follow the condos down. Okay, so you got 79.61, and then we have today's low at 79.34. Okay, and then we just keep following these candles all the way on down here. Okay, so then we go to this candle. You got 78.14, and then we have your big retest here at 77.59. Uh, now, again, if that's lost, then we have your 50 SMA right there at 77.08. You have your 200 day at 76.29, and then you have your 100 at 75.46, which will be very, very key uh, support level here. Okay, now just a couple things I wanted to point you out, point out to you here. See, this is that 75 level right here. Okay, so this, I mean, yeah, 75 level right here. So this is where it's going to be very, very key here. So when you look at the top of this candle, you're looking at 75.06. So that was your uh, uh, where it ran up, and then it just couldn't hold it. And it came around down. So that is going to be very, very key uh, support level. Now, again, if that's lost, then we come down here and then we retest. Also, what we want to do here is we want to look at this candle here on the upside. Is this green candle right here? That's at 83.53. Okay. That is going to be very, very key uh, resistance there on the upside before we can hit, you know, a retest here of that 84.89. Now, here on your weekly chart here. Well, you know, this is actually looking very, very good. See, um, you double topped 83.53, you had 84.89. Went higher, but it closed, okay, at 83.04. That's the key level is the close. Then you sold off, but when you look at the sell-off, okay, it held it on a closing basis for the week, uh, your 50 SMA and your 8 SMA. So now we want to do is look at that 8 SMA for key support level at 80.05, and then we want to look here at 77.94 and then 75.79. See, there's that 75 area again, just like I pointed out right here, okay? That is very, very key. Now, again, if that's lost, then you're gonna come right down 68.59. You're gonna retest that just like you did right here. And then if that's lost, your retest here is uh, 63.64 here. But right now, when you look at here on the daily, it looks very bullish. The key is gonna be a close and hold about that 81.14. That is going to be the key. And then we can just start taking these candles all the way up and maybe get the retest there at 84.89. Uh, all right, let's take a look here at the old Natty Gas. 
Okay, nanny gas, your hourly and your four hour check. Now, this set it uh, a low right here, okay? This is what I've been pointing out, 2.457. You put in a lower low here. However, you put that big green candle in there, which is still a nice sweet double bottom here. And then look what happened here, okay? Now you got a series of higher lows. That's always very bullish. Now look at where your eight day is just moving on up here, your 21 day, uh, okay? And now your uh, eight day here. So what you wanna watch here is that 21 day, okay, on support level, 2.66. You want to watch this uh, 2.65 on your eight day, and then you want to watch that key 2.62. If that falters, then we come down to this 2.57 here on your 200 day. Now, your breakout here is going to be this 2.69. Uh, very, very, very uh, 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 key resistant level if you want to go higher, okay? And then if we can, then we can just track right on up here and bid, get your big retest. All right, let's take a look here on a uh, daily and a weekly. Okay, on your weekly chart, this is looking very, very nice, okay? It was playing ping pong here between your 21, or your 8 day SE and your 21 SMA here. Now your price is basically above the 8 SMA here, sitting at 2.63. That is gonna be key support level here, and then next is that 2.49. Long as that holds, or even goes sideways, this is still a very, very good uh, bullish chart. Okay, again, if you can rally it up, then your target is gonna be right up there. You've got that 2.49. Uh, 863 uh, and then this is the key level here 2.87 uh, and then what you want to do is get above this key level here at 3.027 if you can close above that then your target here is this 3.18 and then we have your 50 SMA here at 3.62 and then we have 3.76 is your 200 SMA that would be your upside and this would be very very strong resistance once this broke out of this uh, trading channel Okay, so now what we have here, this is looking really nice. Now, if you look at your eight day, it's trying to curl right on up. So if it can, it can curl up and get back above this key 50 and 21 day here, then that will rally up really, really nice. Now, again, so you want to watch that 50 SMA. That's going to be your key support at 265. And then you got 2.64. That's your 21 day. And then if that's lost, then we have your eight day sitting at two point, basically 2.57. Okay, so that is your support levels. And then uh, obviously when it goes up here, then these are gonna be all your targets here. You got 2.83, um, you got 2.83 yeah, again, and then we have uh, uh, 2.86, and then there's that 2.87, and then your retest up here. But just watch the 50 and the 21 day and this eight day for key support levels. And then we can just, we have, once you were above all this resistance, now we have blue sky to maybe hit this. We've got to see what all the information is coming out here with the hurricanes and all this. That's going to be a big factor on all that gas. All right. Now, remember, API numbers for crude is out today at uh, 430. And then the EI report for crude will be out on Wednesday at 1030. And then the EI report uh, for natural gas will be out on Thursday at 1030. Uh, I will have more for you tomorrow morning uh, uh, before 8 o'clock there on crude oil and natural gas. Thanks for watching.